How are you? Very well, thank you. And you? I'm very pleased to meet you. How long have you been here? Would you like a cigarette? May I get you a drink? Do you have a light, please? Are you waiting for someone? Are you free this evening? What time shall I meet you? It was nice meeting you. May I take you home? Thank you. It's been a wonderful evening. What's your telephone number? Do you live alone? Good night. When I started creating the piece, Hello, How Are You?, I was thinking of the situation that happened to me and then I was talking about this with other people, finding it happening to them. That being with seat dancers, you are kind of, it's hard to meet them, to like personally have contact with dancers from this academy and so I created a piece that would somehow involve the idea of getting to know each other, of um, finding out more about why we are um, not getting to know each other or what's the pos a possible confusion. And um, then I connected with Seed, with Susan Quinn, and she was kind of triggered by the idea because it seemed to be a certain type of awareness of this effect, even on the academy itself that um, they were calling this the seed bubble. So we had a name for this phenomenon and then we started working on it. And I felt very glad, at the same time really challenged because I never had been working with dancers before. I didn't know anything about the process of creating a choreography and I felt a little bit lost with uh, three young girls anyhow. I thought, oh my God, I am the only one who will go for this rehearsal. I cannot do that I say no. And then desperately, I was running around in the school and asking around who else is coming for this rehearsal. And I found Lisa and Aya. Yeah, it was a hard time to find out how we can work together. We suggested to let's try to improvise and uh, he, he just gave us the task and we were trying out. So I think at the end he found something that he is really interested in. The improvisation phase was really exciting for me because it was a lot about letting go, about creating this free space and still trying to maintain a certain um, direction, uh, but to really create this free space that the girls could move in and, and, and do what they were best at, exploring their bodies, exploring energies and, and emotions through by means of the body and uh, seeing what happened in the first few days I 
think that the final result is really a huge piece of reduction. When we came to Schmiede, it was uh, really exciting to see how we could adapt a piece that was created in a totally super clean uh, antiseptic environment. Interesting to see how, we, how the shift from this totally clean space to this industrial environment and, and the rough uh, machinery and, and all this like dirt and, and really rough situation would be, you know, how we would transform something that, that was created in a laboratory into the jungle. Actually, it took a while, and but in the end, we the the whole thing, the the trick was to reduce to the essence, really reduce it, and try to not occupy people too much with saying too many things. I felt really insecure, and when Lisa and Nicole started commenting, I got actually really aggressive. And then we uh, rearranged the piece quite a bit. We uh, completely changed perspective in Judith's uh, solo. Judith and me decided that she would perform the reflection on her solo rather than the solo itself. Yeah, I'm completely destroyed. I don't know what to do. And I think I even put down a bit the t-shirt. So the girls throw me to the deep water before the performance day. And then I had to speak about my solo, which is a big challenge for me. The story what I just said during the piece, it's not important anymore for me. So it was hard to find myself in it again, to get back, to go back to be 17 years old. For the performance I was really nervous because it was a long time ago I had to speak on stage. But when I started to speak I think I, I catch the audience because I had a feeling that they are following me. We had to put in mountain and we have bath in the river and they were It took a while really to calm down to lots of people congratulating, saying that this was a good thing, that actually there was some extraordinary comments, the best that was ever released from seed and things like that, which I couldn't take for granted. I, I was so still within the process and it took two or three days until Soily showed me uh, the images that he took from the work and it kind of made me proud of the whole process. So e even though I still don't know if we really succeeded in putting all the things that we created in the process, if we were succeeding to put them all on stage, if we were really as sharp as we could have been on stage, but I know that the process was really good and strong and I think it's something to be proud of. Thank you.